Hey, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm here with a reading for Aquarius and these are your love predictions for the month of October 2019. So I'm going to be using the Halloween Tarot, the Romance Angel Oracle cards and the Lovers Oracle. So thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. If you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. And thank you to everyone who has liked my videos and shared them and written lovely comments. I do read them all and I find them really supportive. So thank you so much. So let's start off with the Halloween Tarot. What are your love predictions Aquarius for the month of October you have the two of wands in reverse the eight of swords in reverse The King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So to clarify the Two of Wands, we have the Tower in reverse. Clarifying the Eight of Swords in reverse, we have the Moon and the star in reverse. Clarifying the king of pentacles, we have the king of cups in reverse and the ten of cups. Clarifying the emperor, we have the world. And clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so let me tune into the energies for a few moments. Okay, so the two of wands in reverse clarified by the tower in reverse. I feel that some of you are wanting to come together with a specific, a specific person, but there seems to be like delays and obstacles to that. The tower in reverse, I feel like there's a fear of the relationship breaking down. For some of you, this is like a friendship or a work colleague that you have. And there's just this fears that you both have that if you rush into things, then things are gonna go wrong and it's gonna create awkwardness. And someone is like really afraid of losing you. And so in a sense, they're more comfortable like remaining friends, although they're wanting more. There's a sense of indecisiveness, a decision that needs to be made. And it's like your situation is going in circles a little bit. Um, for some of you, this is saying that either you or this other person is already married. They're in an unhappy relationship, but they're feeling stuck in that situation. They're daydreaming about you a lot. Um, and they're afraid of being honest with their spouse and they're afraid of like the breakdown of their marriage because they don't want to hurt anyone and they also have a sense of like security with this person but I feel like it's a false sense of security it's more like financially perhaps there's this stability with this person basically there's codependency but emotionally, there's instability because they're not happy. And so for some of you, this could be you. Like, you're unhappy. You may not know whether you should stay or leave this marriage or this relationship with someone. You're afraid of all the upheaval. You're afraid of making the wrong decision and regretting it later. So 
For some of you, this is you're wanting to be with someone and they're going through that fear, those fears. So that's blocking you from being together or this is you and you're afraid of leaving an unhappy situation. There's the eight of swords in reverse. Um, so again, this is a card about feeling trapped, feeling stuck, needing to move forward, but feeling unable to. In reverse, it's more positive because it's saying slowly but surely you are freeing yourself. A lot of it is to do with your perspective. You may have a lot of self-blame or this other person who's trying to exit a relationship is having a lot of self-blame. Um, there's the moon clarifying this. So the moon is all about fears. This is about needing to go inwards and face those fears. Face that shadow side, face the blocks. Um, this is a fear of about going down the path of the unknown. Um, I feel like this person's having a lot of sleepless nights as well, or you are. Aquarius, you're going through a lot of like emotional like turmoil right now, a lot of confusion, a lot of fears. I, I'm feeling like every time you think about this or every time this person who you're thinking of is thinking about making these major decisions and changes, I'm feeling like this rush of adrenaline and like the heart racing in terms of a panic. There's like panicky feelings. Um, and yet there's like deep unhappiness going on. The star in reverse. So either you or this other person has tried to heal the relationship, um, but the star in reverse is saying it's not working. It's like trying to force a square peg through a round hole. It's, I feel like the relationship has run its course. Um, but there's this sense of trying to hold on to things, even though things are already falling apart and breaking down. So there's resistance. The King of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. So there may be like financial security within this relationship. But when it comes to emotions, the King of Cups in reverse, it's like emotionally feeling all over the place. It could be feelings of heartbreak. Um, some of you, you're needing to choose between this King of Pumpkins, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Um, you feel like the person that you're already with is much more stable and secure, perhaps financially as well. But you're feeling emotionally all over the place when it comes to following your heart. It's like you may be choosing practical situations or a practical person, but who you have this deep love for, um, you're feeling like there's no certainty that that's gonna work out. You're hoping for the Ten of Cups which is the happy relationship, the happy family life, having it all, an amazing, loving, happy relationship. That's what you're hoping for. But you may be choosing practical situations or situations that you already know. Again, this could be the other person that you're thinking of. Um, and that's what's causing confusion, com causing them to bury their head in the sand and not want to make a decision. Whoever this is that I'm talking about, they could be um, daydreaming a lot, like fantasizing about this happy relationship. And that's a form of escapism from the current situation of feeling really unhappy. Um, the Emperor and the World. So all this emotional instability, in the month of October, I feel towards the end of October, you're going to feel much more secure within yourself. You're going to have made a decision. Uh, the emperor, he's, he's the one that's in charge. So you're going to take charge. You're going to make decisions. It's a four. So that is about that stability. I feel like you're going to have already weighed up all the options because it's clarified by the world. So that's like the final card in the whole tarot. 
So that's ending of cycles. That's tying up the loose ends, um, endings and new beginnings. Because after the world, it would cycle back to the first card in the tarot, which is the fall, which has taken a leap of faith, which is a completely new journey. So this is an ending of a certain journey or relationship or phase in your life. And you're the one that's making the decision to end things. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You may no, no longer be receiving like financial security from this person, from this relationship. It may create struggles for you financially if when you move on. But you are going to move on. The Six of Swords. This is moving away from the choppy waters into the calmer waters. For some of you, this may be like a breakup of the family. There may be children involved, and that's what's making you panic so much. Um, but you need to follow your heart. You need to follow your intuition. Because this is this situation is making you feel stuck. Um, and it's not healthy for you. It's not allowing you to grow. But this is like... A difficult transition. This is moving away from this situation and feeling unhappy about it. It, you know, this could be that you have a lot of love for this person, your husband or your wife, um, and you want the best for them. You have a lot of respect for them, and in many ways, you are sad to leave the relationship, but you just know that it has to be done. You know, it's for in everyone's best interest for you to move on. So this other person can move on and find um, peace of mind and the right person for them as well. So I'm going to draw three of the Romance Angel Oracle cards to clarify. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So yeah, there needs to be honesty. There needs to be the truth revealed because I feel like both of you know that um things aren't working out but there's been this sense of denial just pretending to each other that things are okay again this could be like the other person that you're thinking of and they're going through that with their partner oops express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture Soulmate and true love. So yeah, for some of you, I do feel there is someone that you're thinking of and they are going through a lot of difficulties trying to end another relationship that they're currently in. There needs to be this heart-to-heart -heart conversations between you and this person. This person may have difficulties expressing their love. Because look, he looks very distant here. The woman's trying to reach out and talk to him. And he's just, you know, his mind's on other things. Things that are stressing him out. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yes, this is your soulmate and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So for some of you, this is saying there needs to be an ending of a relationship that isn't working out in order for this relationship with the soulmate to be able to get off the ground. For some of you, this person that you're leaving is a soulmate, but you know, we can have many soulmates. Soulmates aren't necessarily someone we have to be with for the rest of our lives. Um, we can have soulmates for several like years or, you know, however long amount of time. And it is true love, but sometimes, you know, the relationships just run it runs it cool sorry, runs its course and there's this need to move on, like your energies just are flowing away from each other. But definitely I feel there needs to be endings in order for true love to really be able to blossom. You know, we need to make room in our life for the new to come in. And um, that's really what's going to happen for a lot of Aquarius this month. Um, the other person you're thinking of, they're going to leave 
um, their marriage or their other relationship in order to express their love to you and have this reconciliation with you or vice versa. So let's draw out one of the lover's oracle cards. Two have come out. Look inside of yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So yeah, there's a lot of introspection, a, a lot of going inwards, trying to make decisions. Um, but you know, there's a need to follow the heart rather than getting caught up in feelings of guilt and overthinking things and whine about worst case scenarios. Manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So yeah, I do feel new beginnings are going to come in. Manifesting miracles once the old is released. And it's a really difficult situation to go through. Um, so it's going to be a very like emotional and powerful month. But it's going to create major positive shifts. So I really hope this reading has resonated and um, been helpful. If it has, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Thank you.